Okay, so what we're going to do is set up a new system, a new class on gold experience. So let's go, first of all, to Pearson, make sure we're signed in, and we should get to the dashboard. When we're on the dashboard, we're going to set up a class. So we go to classes. Here you can see I already have three classes. What am I going to do? I'm going to add a new class. So click on add class. I'm going to select a product. I want to select B1. So I'm selecting B1 here. I click next. I give it a class name. So this is PET 2020 Group A. I make sure that the end date is about two years from now. So I click through to 2022, October the 18th. That's fine. And I ask my class what color they would like. What color would you like class? And they shout, green we want to be green so i click green from there i click next now there are two options i can ask the students to do everything themselves i can then give them the class code or if they're very sophisticated i can click on the qr code and they can use the QR code. I can print the instructions. I can go to class. Here is the class. If you look at my class, students, I've got no students. Why? Because I've just created a class. Let's manually add a student. Now, this is similar to what we saw before. I can give the students a code and ask them to do it, or I can print the instructions. We tried this, it doesn't work. So the only thing that does work is clicking here at the bottom, create student accounts, the old way, the way that the teacher does all the work. So we click here and we put in a name. So John, Smith, his email address is john.smith2006 at gmail.com. We ask him, what's the product code? The product code is EEE dash, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, dash, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, dash. Okay. And we simply, the access code is invalid, obviously, because I did it too quickly. The username and the password will come up automatically. You ask your student to make a copy of this. So they have to write this down. And then, assuming everything is correct, you click Add. That's it. Okay.